I'm building a 3D print shop, and no, not the kind that prints dragons. Today we're taking one product from an idea to something that I'll actually list online to sell. I've been 3D printing for over 6 years. I started with one of the first printers that normal people can afford and worked my way up over time. I got bigger printers, smaller printers, resin printers, multicolor printers, I used kids software and I worked all my way up to the big boy stuff. And I've designed a lot of things but never really did anything with them. I never branded it, I never really shared it online, and except for a couple pieces, I never even tried to make money off. Most of it just sits on my hard drive and collects dust. But I'm kinda done with that. This bike right here is basically my Frankenstein project. I've printed a bunch of parts for it in-house, like sliders, scrape bars, headlight mounts, and way more. Even these cool LED buttons. And while all that was going on, people kept asking for them. So instead of hoarding my designs on my hard drive forever, I'm gonna build an actual shop to post them on. The brand behind the shop is called Man Mika Co. I've got an Etsy shop, I've got my own site, and I'm setting up an Instagram page to help market all the things I'm selling. Today's mission is to take one product all the way through. We're going to design it, print it, photograph it, and list it online. And today's product is a Harley tool. Even if you don't work on Harleys, you can still appreciate how ridiculous this problem is. Harley hydraulic lifters basically need oil inside them to behave properly. If they're empty or full of air, the engine can sound like it's threatening to fall apart on startup. And yes, that engine can probably fill them up, but I don't think probably is the type of word you want to use when the engines cost as much as a used car. The annoying part is that you can't just casually fill them. They're sealed up, they trap air, and the usual methods are messy, slow, or both. So the tool idea is to combine three things together. A mason jar, a valve stem, and a 3D printed holder that we're gonna create. It's gonna pull a vacuum, help pull the air out, and let the oil go where it needs to go. Clean, repeatable, and most importantly, no mess. And yes, if you don't ride a Harley, this does sound insane, but if you do ride a Harley, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Designing for a hobby print kind of feels like, close enough, that'll work. Meh. Designing for something that you're going to sell is, well, different. So the rules are, keep it simple, keep it strong, and make sure it's repeatable. Because the second I hit sell, this stops being a front project from home and starts being a responsibility. When it came to the design, I did the first thing that I told you not to do. I chose some complex designs. At first, it wasn't strong, and it took about 10 hours to print, so it's not super repeatable. But it sure does look good. Now we move on to the print, and this is the part where the idea becomes real. Printing is pretty simple, once you have your settings done and a profile, all you gotta do is send it to your printer, load the filament, start the print, and then a long ass time lapse. Okay, print's done. This is the first moment where you find out if your measurements were real, or just optimistic. I'm gonna clean it up, remove the supports, and check the fitment with the jar setup. And if this works first try, I'm gonna pretend like that was the plan. So now we're shooting photos. Not because photos make it a product, because photos decide if someone's gonna trust you in two seconds. I'm doing some clean angles, front, back, left, right, top, bottom. And then later I'll add in field photos of it actually being used. And maybe a little video. Because if the listing looks confusing, people don't investigate it, they just leave. I made a quick title, clear bullet points, what it fits, what it does, and what problem it solves. One listing goes on Etsy, and the other one goes on my site. And then eventually I'll post it to Instagram so that it can get seen. Now pricing, which is the part where you either build a business or accidentally build a charity. First thing we're gonna do is check the prices of everything and the quantity that it comes with. So we look at the prices of jars and how many it comes with, which gives us a cost of $3 per jar. We look at valves and how much they cost and how much they come with, and that gives us about 40 cents per valve. And then we did the same thing with plastic, and it came out to about $2.2 per print, which is what our slicer software calculated. And that comes out to a cost price of around $5.6 per unit. Then we gotta unfortunately calculate shipping because we don't have a big shipping network yet. So it's gonna cost around 15 to $20, giving us a total cost price of to the door of the person for $20. And we're gonna add a 100% margin on that, which is $40. Once that's done, just enter the price on the listing, save everything, make sure it's uploaded, and that's it. That's the process. That's how you go from an idea in your head to something listed online that can make you money. 
At the time of filming, I have made about four sales through this process and I just recently started it. If you're interested, have any questions, check out the link below. We have a Discord with a bunch of cool people that can help you build your projects, help you with your code, or you can come see some cool stuff yourself. If you want to follow the shop build as it grows, subscribe.